Southern trees bear strange fruit, blood on the leaves and blood at the root. I say the world right now, I think it's kind of chaotic, a lot of chaos out there. And uh, in order to have peace, we need to have chaos first because peace comes from chaos and it comes from destroying chaos. It's like crime rate is going up. These, uh, the punishment is more lenient. So more people will be like, okay, I could get away with more things. Let me, let me do that. Let me get away with more things and see how far I can get. And a lot of people are thinking like that. And so when you have a lot of people thinking like that, this world becomes lawless. The substance of the imperialist expansion. Our suffering has been too long. Our sacrifices have been too great. And our human dignity is too you gotta strong. Be, uh, more prepared because uh, now you, you get, like the more children you have, the more you gotta be providing for them, the more you gotta bring to the table. Um, you just gotta stay focused because no matter the all the crazy things going outside in the world, you still gotta do what you have to do to better yourself, better the people around you. And if the next person's not gonna do it, then it's probably up to you to do it. You gotta step up to that plate and be like, hey look, this is what we gotta do. This is what's gonna happen. We gotta stick together. We recognize now that we see history repeating itself, but on an international as well as a national scale. The relentless drive for profit. Change starts from within, so you gotta start with the individual. What are you gonna do different than you did yesterday or the week before? Are you gonna progress or are you gonna be doing the same thing? You gotta always elevate, aim to elevate, and elevate to a higher purpose, something that's more than just helping yourself. You know, at the same time, yeah, you want to better yourself, but also when you're helping out your brother, it's like you guys are both rising. Now two people are rising instead of one. Or if you have more, you know, come together with, as a collective, put your differences to the side and really have a better impact instead of causing chaos, destruction, we could cause peace and, you know, come together. Now we see that the small ruling really circle continues its profit drive by oppressing and exploiting the people of the world. Throughout the world, the proletariat is crushed. I would say, um, instead of like going online looking for something that you don't even know what you're looking for, analyze yourself and know what you want. And when you know what you want, you're gonna aim towards that and you're gonna have hope for something better than what your situation is because you know that you're aiming for a goal and that you wanna reach it and you're gonna reach it no matter what. So put the distractions to the side, stay focused and be hopeful because without hope, you don't really got like much to live for. You're like, damn, what, what I'm gonna do right now? I ain't got nothing to do, but you gotta be hopeful. Like I'm gonna go get something, I'm gonna do something real quick to better myself or make, come up with some ideas, some new ideas every day. To let it be known at home and abroad that a nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness well, as in its maturity becoming a... I know from a physical and a surface level, life is more important than death, yeah. From a surface level, because all we want to do is be able to live and wake up the next day and be like, okay, let me go get some money. Let me have another day with my children. Or let me have another day to myself. I don't want to, some people don't want to die. Some people don't want to, some people don't believe that there's going to be a next life after we pass. Um, they think that this is the end. So sometimes people hold themselves from believing in a higher power because they don't want to face the repercussions that they will face on Judgment Day from all the actions that they, that they did. So some people are living like, okay, we only got one life to live, so I'm gonna live it to the fullest every time. And I understand that because sometimes I feel like, well, dang, I got some children and I don't want to die. So life is more important than death to me right now because I want to be there for them. And that's like on a physical surface level. 
But if you want to think about how our ancestors thought, they thought that death was the beginning of a new life. That's like a passing through another portal. Like when we come out of our mom's womb, we're coming out the, the that's a that's a portal we're coming out of. So when we die, it's gonna be like the same thing. We're gonna come out of this vessel and go into another portal, come out through the other side, the death, which is sometimes, like I said, a beginning of a new life.